There it is, boys, the Ocean Monument, home of the most annoying mobs in Minecraft and the most heavily guarded stash of gold in the world. No way it could possibly be more dangerous than the Bastion. True, those pigs were total jerks. Hey, don't talk about my cousins like that. So, do we have a plan or... Let's go. All right, we need to make our way through that front entrance. Ugh, what are those ugly cyclops looking things? Guardians, trust me, you do not want to get hit by one of them. Luckily, my swiftness and agility will allow me to- Ah, oh god, laser beams! Holy cow, that was tougher than I thought it was gonna be. Hey, that gives me an idea. What if we- Pork chops potions! Need to regenerate health? Slow your fall damage? See with night vision. Well, come on down to Pork Chops Potions! Refunds are not available, and Pork Chops Potions is not responsible for any poisoning or reduced attack damage. Alright, now that we've got these potions, we can breathe underwater and become invisible. Ooh, I've never seen this stuff before! Time to start hoeing! Oh boy, there sure is a lot of it! We're gonna be hoeing all summer long! Oh no, the invisibility's wearing off. Mark my words, one day I'm going to be an Elder Guardian. Well, yeah, when you're older, that's what the word Elder means. Hey, you're not supposed to be down here. Run! Get out of here, you prehistoric one-eyed water worms. <laughs> no, now I'll never be an Elder. All right, I think the main room is over here. All right, the gold is in there. Oh god, an elder gave me mining fatigue. Maybe I can help you with that. What the? How'd you get down here? Yeah, and where did he come from? I didn't even know cows could swim. Me neither, until I went to the pool with your mom. <coughs> Drink this, then you'll be able to mine the gold. We are gonna be rich. Ah. <sighs> Another day of trading awaits. Come on, pals. Oh god, not these guys again. Hey, hey you, wandering McTrader man. Uh, you got any blaze rods in that llama? Blaze rods? Green dye, ferns, where's all the good stuff, dude? Uh, guys, creeper over here? Perhaps I could persuade you to purchase this pumpkin? Dude, I don't want any of your garbage. Can't you see I'm busy over here? Not even this Nautilus shell? You had that the whole time? Yes, sir. Well, why didn't you just start with that? I'll take it. That will be five emeralds. Five emeralds? Well, I can't just give these things away. Screw you. Fine, I'll just take my business elsewhere. Can you believe that guy? Just pretty much follows us around asking if we want things and then tries to make us pay for them. Let's go down in the caves. Mining some diamonds will cool you down a little. Until you slip in lava, at least. I can't believe we've been mining for a whole day and still haven't found any diamonds. Except for those ones you mined with a stone pickaxe. We have about three chests filled with redstone. I'm about to just dump it all in the lava pit. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna need any of that, so... <laughs> Did, uh, did you guys hear something? Unless my ears deceive me, I think it was a- <coughs> All right, where is he? Oh yeah? You're gonna stone pick him to death? Just follow the stupid <coughs> llama noise. <coughs> Let's kill this guy. Trying to make an honest living? Ha, <laughs> not on my watch. We'll take those leads too, thank you very much. <coughs> what do you think you're doing in my cave? It's gonna cost you six emeralds to be down here. Uh, I'm not sure how I got down here. Spawn egg, maybe? I'm gonna mine you and store you in my chest. That's kinda dark. Did he... did he just die? Yes, I died, okay? I had one heart left. Why didn't you eat anything? Because I'm in a cave, okay? The only animals that come down here are you two. Fair enough. <coughs> Alright, I can finally be at peace now that... <coughs> Damn it. Deep in the nether, inside of the bastion, lays an enchanted golden apple. Nobody knows how it strayed from its chest, but after that day, nothing was the same. Uh-oh, the lava is rising! <laughs> Why did we make these stairs so narrow? That day, the piglin became zombified. I gotta find that Steve guy. Hmm.
I've never seen you before. <laughs> this must be the Steve's house. That was not the Steve's house. Will you close that door? I need to sleep until the sun comes up, then I'll automatically be awake. Wake up! The nether! It's in trouble! Would you close the door? You're letting all the mobs in? What's happening to the nether? Who cares? That place blows donkey blocks. An enchanted apple was thrown into the lava. It's rising. The entire nether will be destroyed. Everyone killed. Well, how am I supposed to stop an enchanted lava flood? Steve would have to traverse the biome, finding the five other enchanted golden apples tossing them into the nether's lava to stop its rising. Huh, good thing she's here. Somewhere. She knows my name is Stan, right? We need to hurry. Thousands of lives depend on us. So, wait, we have to find five enchanted golden apples? Where are we even supposed to start? Dungeon, mineshaft, desert temple, ruined nether portal, and woodland mansion. That's where each one's gotta be. We have to go to all those places. And quick, too. You know what? I don't mind being a regular skeleton. Screw those snooty wither skeletons, all high and mighty up in their tower. I agree. We're free to roam wherever we want. From the miserable boss old biomes to the annoying and deadly crimson forests. Oh. My. Rod. All right, there's bound to be a dungeon somewhere in this cave. We're just blindly roaming caves looking for dungeons? This could take forever. Seeing as dungeons have mob spawners and spiders and whatnot, I'd prefer not to find a dungeon. We need to find the enchanted apples. Now be brave or leave the cave. Oh God, zombies! They're all coming out of that room. There must be a spawner in there, which means dungeon. Hey, get out of here! This is a zombie party! Well, that was strange. Snooty, hostile mobs with their invite-only undead parties. Urgh, I'm green with envy! About as green as the moss on that cobblestone! Yeah, well, let's try another ca- Wait, mossy cobblestone? It's a dungeon! A saddle, a name tag, a music disc! All right, now it's a party! I found one, right here. Oh, it looks delicious. I could just eat it right now. No, you idiot! We need to throw it in nether lava! Wow, this whole trek almost instantly wasted. I can't... Ugh. So the next enchanted apple is gonna be in a mine shaft. Yet here we are, deep in a forest with zero visibility. The best way to find a mine shaft is to find a ravine. I've fallen into plenty of ravines. Did you say ravine? There's one right over there. But be careful, I've seen a lot of stupid animals fall into it and die. We could afford to lose one stupid animal. Hey, that must be it over there. I don't see any mine shafts sticking out. We have to go down and then dig into the walls. Uh, well, maybe the next ravine we find will have mine shaft. Oh, God! No! The diamond armor! Come on, Stan, make it to the water. Aha! Uh -huh. I landed safely in water. No, oh, no, I'm floating towards lava! Must swim away from death. Stan, throw some blocks down to plug that lava. Phew! That was a close one. And now I'm on fire. Keep your eyes peeled for caves with wooden planks in them. That's the telltale sign of a mine shaft. Remind me why we gotta go in a stupid mine shaft. We've gotten lost in mine shafts hundreds of times. We need to find the enchanted golden apple because the- The lava in the nether is rising, swallowing bastions, killing ghosts, and striders, well, the Striders were all right, but Stan and the gang needed to collect the rest of the enchanted apples and toss them into the lava. I'm, I'm worried we're not gonna make it, not me. I'm glad it's all ending, and quick too. In fact, I'll see ya. All right, there's some wood planks, just in case we run out of wood. Right, because it wouldn't make sense to gather any wood before we enter an infinite cave. And hey, we don't need torches because this lava will give off light. Ouch! Okay, let's make torches, actually. So where exactly is there going to be an apple in this cave? Um, hopefully not back there. Oh, hell no! I'm sorry, spiders? No way! Nuh-uh, never! I have a diamond sword. You think I can't kill a spider? Now come on, we'll just run in and run out really fast after we find the chest. You do that. 
I'll keep my eyes on the exit hallway just so we know which way we came. Well, I'm stuck here forever. Use your sword to get out, and then use it to take out the rest of the webs. I am not going over there until the hallway is clear. This is boring. I'm going to see what's over here. Oh, a chest. Hey, there's an enchanted apple in here. All right, I'll see you guys. Oh God, spider! Okay, now we gotta be on the lookout for a desert temple. A desert temple? Desert temple. Aw, I will never get to experience a Dairy Queen. Won't a desert temple be in, um, I don't know, a desert? It's gonna be forever until we make it to a desert. And now it's getting dark. All right, good night, friends. You're just gonna sleep out in the open where mobs can kill us. Yeah, let's at least take shelter in that giant McMansion. McMansion? Okay, where's, like, the front door? Nobody ever uses the door on these things. Let's just break in and- Hey! What is it? Oh my, we have visitors! We come in peace, we just want to run into your house and steal your crap. Can I ask you something? Yes, you may ax me a question! <laughs> Get it? Because I have the axe! Yeah, great. Well, uh, you've got a bunch of chests in your mansion, right? Yes, we have a whole room of chests, all empty. And a giant chicken made out of wool. All right, we gotta go in and see this thing. All right, now's our chance to finally kill someone. Oh, but I just decorated the rooms with flowers and pink carpet and stuff. I'll tell you what, we'll let them stay the night and kill them in their sleep. Boom! Axe to the throat! Or I can cast a spell on them or summon a Vex. No way, man. That Vex guy is so annoying. Hey, what's up, guys? We having a murder slumber party? <laughs> hey, we really appreciate you guys letting us stay here. Yeah, I always thought you guys were super hostile. Maybe not hostile, but definitely full of themselves. Anyways, here's your bedroom. Hey, thanks. This is embarrassing, but, uh, I can't sleep when monsters are around. Yeah, get out of here, you bald gray freaks! Good night, friends! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, time for a Max Assacre! Shoot, I mean Axe Massacre! Ha! Assacre! Shut up! Wait a second. Where'd they go? Ah! How did you know we were going to kill you? Let's just say a little birdie told me. Except it was a big birdie. Oh yeah, no, those guys are terrible. They're definitely just gonna murder you. All right, pork chop, you got that enchanted apple? We looked through 57 chests and only one had anything in it. But we got our apple and we can continue our quest. I don't know. We have this whole mansion to ourselves now. We could have a giant party. A party? Who the hell are you gonna invite? A cow and a donkey? I'm going to bed so that way when I wake up, it'll be safe to travel. <laughs> Someday, Donkey, we will be invited to a super fun party. Well, sun's coming up. That means today could be the day- ah, I don't even drop any food. I don't get it. This is like the 20th shipwreck we've been to and still no gold enchanted apples. We've got some rotten flesh. Maybe we can craft a zombie. That's how that works, right? Sorry, idiots. No apples and shipwrecks. <sighs> All right, let's keep looking for a desert temple. There's gotta be one somewhere around here. In the ocean? Breaking news! The lava rising in the nether has covered a majority of the biome. Piglins have taken shelter in the trees of the Crimson Forest, and all of the hoglins have become delicious bacon. It is unclear when the lava will hit the treetops, but we are so- No! Oh, God, it's here! Ah! Uh, we've been walking in the savanna for a whole day. We need to find something to eat soon, or we're gonna end up like these dead bushes. You had the suspicious stew. Did you already eat it? Ugh, I did, and that stew was sus, very sus. Wait a minute, dead bushes. You know what that means? Yes, free sticks. Ouch. That desert temple's gotta be around here somewhere. It's right over there, and technically it's a desert pyramid. What the? How can you just be out in the sun like this? You should be on fire. Yeah, and pyramids are triangles, buddy. Take a geometry class sometime, would you? Oh, you guys are jerks. Here's the desert pyramid. Stan, pyramids are triangle. Now, let's get inside the temple and find the apple. Can we please just go inside? Oh yeah, the purple block. If I remember correctly, 
I think I broke my legs. Hate to break it to you, buddy, but in a second, you're not gonna have your legs. A pressure plate! Would our heroes meet their inevitable death? Would the lava in the nether ever stop rising? And would Stan finally learn how to build a house that doesn't look like complete garbage? Hey! Find out on the next episode of... Whoa, that was actually impressive. And now we've got a TNT jacuzzi! You can relax and you'll never know when you might explode. And I bet the apple will be in the first chest I open. Second chest. Okay, third chest. Fourth chest. It was the fourth chest. Now let's get the heck out of here and find the last apple. Something tells me this last apple is gonna be hard to find. A ruined nether portal could be anywhere. Great, so let's just eat the ones we've got and forget about that terrible nether situation. Great, so now we're just roaming around aimlessly until we find, oh my God, a ruined nether portal. Yeah, but what are the chances that, oh my goodness, there's a gold enchanted apple in here. It's the final apple. All right, and how convenient that a ruined nether portal was holding it. Let's complete that bad boy and head into the nether. So it appears the nether portal on the other end is submerged in lava. Who'd have thought? We need to make a fire resistance potion. I can little make- zombie can make a potion for y'all. Oh, sorry, little zombie. This is kind of just something us three have been doing. Aww. You can keep watching the nether portal and make sure no lava comes through. Ah, little zombie understands. Y'all have a good time out here. Time for pork chops potions. We'll just need some blaze powder, some nether wart, and some magma cream. Take a sip, Stanthony. It's disgusting, but if it works, it works. Let's just find out. Ha, <laughs> stupid fire. Doesn't hurt me at all. Okay, this one was my fault. All right, here goes nothing. Take me over to that crimson forest. Wait, are you the annoying strider that always sings? Uh, no. Okay, yeah, over there then. Haven't seen you in a while. You look good. For you. Uh, Look happy and healthy, not me, if you ever care to ask. All right, I gotta climb up here and throw these five apples into the- Hey, that guy's not wearing any gold. <sighs> this is never gonna end, is it? How you like them apples, stupid nether lava? Hey, did it! That Steve saved the nether! Thank you for saving the nether. Hey, where were you the whole time this was happening? I was in the overworld. Much nicer. You could fish. It's sunny. Life in the nether sucks. Now let's go back up there and start a farm or something. All right, can we get out of this creepy cave? I feel like there's skeletons around every corner. Heads up. Phew, he missed. Not exactly. Check it out, I'm over here. Now I'm over here. Now I'm over here. You know, teasing them isn't really a good idea. <laughs> Please, can we just get to a place that's well lit and away from mobs? That cave down there looks pretty safe. Wow, it's a whole underground ravine. Um, guys, what the heck is that? There's no way. It's a stronghold. We just randomly found it. What are the chances of that? About 0.00492857 Oh, well, let's go. Which way's the portal room? Why does it matter? We don't even have any eyes. Was that a witch? Oh, witches are the most annoying mobs. No way, dude. The most annoying mob by far is Silverfish. <laughs> All right, this is like the actual entrance, right? This should be pretty easy. Oh, God! Aha, the portal room. Again, worthless. It's got one eye in it. That's still one more than we've got. You know what? I think we're gonna live here now. What? But there's no food. There's no sunlight. There's just mobs. We did the hard part already. We found the stronghold. Now with this as our house, we can have a solid home base. Maybe the hard part would be going into a dangerous nether fortress and battling blazes and wither skeletons. But sure, tell yourself what you want. Relax, I'll make a nice staircase up and out and we'll make our nether portal in here. And I'll collect the rent from our residence. Hello, zombie. If you're going to be living in our establishment, you need- ah! God, put me down! I'll tell you one thing. I am not paying these losers anything to live down here. We were here first. The stronghold belongs to the silverfish. Oh yeah, and what? You're just gonna take on that Steve who's got a diamond sword and full iron armor. All right, a furnace, a crafting bench, a bed, 
I'll block off this doorway here so no zombies can get in. Okay, now maybe lay in the bed so we can respond down here if we die. Die? Ha! In my own stronghold home? I don't see that happening. The room is blocked off, we've got food cooking, there's silverfish behind me. Wait, silverfish behind- Killed by a silverfish in the portal room. Perhaps the worst way to go. Never slept in the bed, and now he'll never find his way back to this stronghold. Maybe once he crafts some ender eyes. Yep, never. Ah, uh, the pulsing bioluminescence of the ancient cephalopod glimmers against the oppressive ocean deep. Dotted with tiny light-producing photophores, these unique- What is this? A new admirer. <laughs> Ah, the Homo sapien, known for its insatiable lust for extinction. That's right, I'm an apex predator. Yeah. I wish people had chosen the barnacle monster thing at Minecon 2017. Uh-huh, yeah, that sounds fun. I got a bite! Reeling? Reeling? Then there would be some added risks to diving into the ocean. Sign me up! Even with drowned and guardians, the seas are too safe if you ask me. That's why I always leave a note! That doesn't make any sense. Wait. Are you even listening to me? Wow, look at the size of this one! Why am I the designated photographer? You look bad in this lighting. Hey, check out what I just found. Damn it, not again. That's amazing, Stanthony! All thanks to the water breathing bestowed on me by pork chops potions. All that energy for an ink sack from the world's least favorite mob. Did you at least catch some fish? I did. Not. Just admit it, neither of you know how to use this thing. How dare! <laughs> it's okay to not know! <laughs> oh, we know how to use this. Eureka! That's not how they work. Like you'd know. You just love watching us fail. Hey, I don't only lord things over you guys. I also like to prove that I'm better than you. That is so, so lame. Give me a sec. Black text isn't the best for this. Hey! One sec. Alt, numpad, zero, one, six, seven, then color code. What's your favorite color? Rainbow! Ugh, I'll use my favorite color then. D, feast your eyes on this. That's your favorite color? Haha, <laughs> he likes pink. Stop being old, Stan! <clears throat> From the 1918 trade publication of Earnshaw's Infants Department. The generally accepted rule is pink for the boys and blue for the girls. The reason is that pink, being a more decided and stronger color, is more suitable for the boy, while blue, which is more delicate and dainty, is prettier for the girl. Ew. Wow, I thought that God decided pink was for girls, huh? It was just dumb marketing decisions? Yup. That is why no one should care that my favorite color is pink. You got me there. <gasps> I know exactly what to do with this new information. I'm glad to be of service. No, not the weird historical sexism that makes me question my life in uncomfortable ways. More glowing sex! <sighs> my god. It's beautiful! Yeah. I am pretty great. What happened there? It's so weird. I can't find any more glow squid in the ocean. I guess I'll need to start breeding them. You monster. Glow squid can't be bred. I think you just hunted the glow squid to extinction. Oh. Oh. The recording of Stanthony McStaniels has begun. <laughs> Don't you just love the great outdoors? I do, actually. Water! No time for break, Stan! You've been getting lazy! This is pathetic. It's not that hard. But you... you have wings. Correct! Very good, Stan! <clears throat> More! I see where this is headed. I'm not going to be your lunch, Stan. Last coin! Good job, you filthy human! Mm, what a beautiful note. You know, this would be the perfect location for a build I've been wanting to try my hand at for a long, 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 long time. A giant statue of me? Ew, never. A castle. That's a surprisingly good idea. Thank you. Hey, not cool. It's a narrow area for the base, but that could be a decent aesthetic. What references are you using? 
Grabcraft? Minecraft schematics? Minecraft Building Incorporated? Even social media has good ideas. None. I've never heard of that platform. I don't need other people's dumb builds clogging up my mind. I've got to stay fresh. Au naturel. I don't think you know what that saying means. It means quit bugging me and start hauling up cobblestone. My depressive brain can't deal. I'm out. I'll go gather more materials, too. Pork chop? Well, better not waste daylight. Hmm. All right. Here I go. A perfect base. Now some stairs. Maybe the base is too small. I'm back with cobblestone, tools, and a whole bunch of- What the f***? Staniel, what are you doing? Testing heights for the castle. Why? That's not something people do. It's something I do. I want to feel where the turret goes. Please tell me you have a pickaxe. Shh. Yeah, coming down now. No matter, I'll just use my other. Uh-oh. You can still break it by hand. I can't mine with my hands. I'm not a dumb peasant. No, no, don't do that. Maybe I should listen to the pig. No, I'm in charge, not him. Uh, have you seen my friends? Holy sh What's wrong with him? <laughs> Ah, what a pleasant, harmless day. Nothing can go wrong. You gotta help me, man. They're after me. Oh, God, they're after me. Whoa, <laughs> slow down. Who's after you? <laughs> they have my scent! <laughs> Good girl, now sit. Stanifer, are you adopting wolves again? You say that like it's a bad thing. Try to remember every other wolf encounter we've ever had. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Hey, that last one was a fox. The premise remains the same. Canids are bad news. Ugh. While you two fuss over a new pack of wolves. No, no packs. We're not naming wolves. We're not keeping wolves. I'll be out collecting potion ingredients. No names. No, stop that. One for the potions, and one for the never-ending hunger. Shoo! Get out of here, you freeloader! Fine. I don't need your delicious carrots or their use in a night vision potion so I can come back here while you sleep and take the rest. Hey, Tanner, on the pig! Huzzah! Melons! I've been dying to make a new potion of harming! Who goes there? Okay, must be my nerves. Weird. Mm, pork chop has never gone this long. You think he's lost? I'm surprised you noticed. You treat me like I'm an egotistical, selfish monster. I care, all right? Uh-huh. Sure. Let me guess. You can't find the potion of water breathing? Don't change the subject. We need to rescue pork chop. <laughs> Why do you have so many wolves? Chick, meet the Wolfgang gang. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, Wolfgang Amadeus Phoenix, Wolfgang Puck, Wolfgang Van Halen, Saint Wolfgang of Regensburg, and Ghost. Ugh. Okay, you all go find Porkchop. I'll stay here and, uh, protect the house? That's fine by me. Are you really going into a thunderstorm wearing metal armor? No, I need protection from the mobs and potential falls. You'll absolutely be struck by lightning in that. Well, that's a risk I'm willing to take to save my friend. You just want his potions. That's not supposed to happen. Wait, I want to help save Porkchop too. Definitely not scared. Not scared. We need to get under a tree or something, and fast. Or what? I'm in iron armor. Nothing can hurt me. You're going to get us all killed. I'm out of here. This party is whack. No, Wolfgang Van Halen, don't leave. Are you with us? Uh, I got nothing better to do. Chick, this is your fault. You let me go out in this armor. Seriously? Hey, I found the pig scent! 
Shoot! Go on! Move along! Have you seen our friend? He's a pig, loves carrots. That's not very descriptive. He's pink, and he looks like a pig? Well, much better. You mean the jerk pig who embarrassed me in front of all my friends? Sounds just like him. He went into the jungle after wrestling me and taking all my carrots. How am I supposed to feed my family now? Well, maybe you should think about that before losing next time. Wolfpack, move out! <laughs> I can help! Let the wolves do their job, Stan. Don't get in the way. I'll have you know my marksmanship has been called adequate. Three down, three to go. Ew, I smell llamas. That's weird, why would llamas be in the jungle? Whatever the reason, I can't truck the pig with all this nasty llama smell everywhere. Dear Stan, it is I, your arch nemesis. I have stolen your prized pig. You will never retrieve it in time to save its life. Maybe think twice about stealing from others. Love, your arch nemesis. I wonder who my arch nemesis could be. Yeah, I know, but who could they be? Uh, you know what? I guess we'll never know who hates you for stealing from them and smells like llamas. Yeah, I guess it'll just be another of life's mysteries. <laughs> I found the Wandering Trader's trail! Wow, the Wandering Trader? I can't believe he still has beef with me. Wolfgang Van Halen, you came back! I feel like I left on bad terms. I want to rejoin the band. I mean, gang. I hate wolves, but for some reason, I can't hate you. All right, Wolfgang gang, roll out. Or into the cave, I suppose. Wandering trader, we would like pork chop back, please? Dumb llama man, give us back our pig. Well, well, well. Looks like you found me just in time to watch your darling little pig take a little swim. Unhand me. Too bad he made the wrong friends. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I loved her. Wait, you'll hit Ghost! No, no I won't. Dang it! <laughs> now I will defeat you! That's what you get for being a jerk! Come on, boy, we can heal you. You'll... you'll be okay. Let me go. I want to be with the Wolfgang gang. I want to frolic the fields of the ether with my friends. Let me go. Then go, my friend. For you were a good boy. The best boy. Harsh. Real harsh. Did Ghost say something about the ether? Yeah, do either of you know what that is? Ugh, nope. Hmm, weird. <laughs> Don't worry, my angels. Stan will pay for this. For all of this! <laughs> Oh wow, we're gonna need a lot of iron if we want to make a bunch of these. Good thing we have that old Fortune 3 pick then. If we take that down into the mines, we'll get so much iron we won't ever need to worry about it ever again! I feel like we're avoiding the obvious answer here. Like what? An iron farm will have all the iron we need in an afternoon, and it'll run forever. I don't know, that Fortune 3 looks real promising. <sighs> right. Well, how about you bozos spend all day sweating in the mines? Meanwhile, I'll make an iron farm. We can make a game out of it! Team with the most iron wins! Me and Stan versus you! Yeah, we totally got this. You're going down. Uh, maybe we should make a new pickaxe first. This thing is bound to have tons of iron in it. Look how deep it is! You got the torches? Check! Food? Check! Uh, let's get going then. <sighs> Look, iron! Sweet! There's no way we lose. Hey, chick, where are you? Ready to lose? Hey guys, what's the matter? <laughs> yeah, pretty sure I won this one. No. Uh, no. 
Magnificent! No, I don't want some weird lady in a baby pork chop. I want something imposing. Ah, oh, too scary. What's that horrible noise? What's your damage, man? That's single pane window glass. Do you know how far I had to go to find sand? I have come to divvy out your doom. Excuse me? Divvy? This isn't some bizarre inheritance scam, is it? I don't like the looks of this. Oh, what are you gonna do? Have the llamas spitball me to death? Yup, spitball to death. Fire. Ha! You'll never get me in here. Cut that out. Make me. Well... This has taken an expectedly immature turn. Wake me up when they come to a resolution. What's it going to take to get you off my property and out of my life? Your demise. Okay, but I don't like that answer. Could we buy something from you? Pork chop? No, we all know his wares are worthless. Ugh, fine, what do you have to purchase? Well, I can't pass up a trade, no matter how vile, rude, disagreeable, idiotic, cruel, inconsiderate, dumb- I get it, you hate me. But I'd be willing to sell to you. If you have the emeralds, I have ferns, a pink tulip, pink dye, a nutella shell, glowstone, leaves, cactus- Wait, what was that last line? Cactus. No, the other. Leaves. Glowstone? You sell glowstone? It's a rare item that sells quick. Eh, I can get a glowstone in the nether, and really it's not that useful. <laughs> Besides in potions, of course. And to access the ether. I'm surprised. The you... ether? Psh, that's a myth. It's definitely a mod, but who cares about non-official stuff? Oh no, it's real. I've been there myself. Saw the flying bunnies and had to run from a Valkyrie. Tell me how to get there. I don't know, Santhony. This sounds pretty dangerous. Maybe we should gather tools, enchant a diamond sword, or... <laughs> Normal tools don't work in the ether. You're better off leaving them and taking a water bucket. Ominous. Very ominous. I like it. How do we get there? An ether portal made of glowstone. Shut up and take my emeralds. <laughs> My back hurts so bad. Please tell me I can sue somebody. Call off your goons. Stand down. I'll buy all your glowstone if you agree to a forever truce. Hmm, a truce it is. That'll be 128 emeralds, please. Uh, how much is just 14 glowstones? Hmm, 28 emeralds. Deal. All right, now what? Pour a bucket of water on an inside corner and be prepared for a whole new world of adventure. Wow, I honestly thought this was going to be a Jack and the Beanstalk situation where I'd have to kill you for lying to me. The beans work in the story, though. Still, I don't know. Griefing is fun. Wouldn't you agree? Well, bye, I guess. Kind of rude. Who's ready for something new? Uh, whatever. I'm ready. Bye, overworld. We may never return. And ta-da, the Aether. Or not? Uh, when's lunch? Lunch? We just got here. But is there a specific time or... But we don't go here, Dax. We're adults. You can eat whenever. I love school! Let's find the office so we can apply for these janitor jobs. Oh man! Maybe if I buy some chips, my bag will push yours over the edge. <gasps> no! Hey, crackle sticks, I haven't had these in years. Wait, what's this? Crackle sticks, they're not just a snack. Snap them in half and the lad out of thwack. Loud and fun and that's just the truth. But be real careful cause you might break a tooth. Crackle sticks. What? No, God! Guys, a walkie talkie. Do you think someone left it here on purpose? Shh, focus! I need to get my chips. Is anybody willing to butter their head and stick it up in there? Mine's too big. And ta-da, Aether. This is someone's idea of heaven? No, this is high school. It's someone's idea of hell. What just happened? I'll tell you what happened. They obliterated my chips. These chips? I grabbed them as we passed through the portal. They looked yummy. Well, I'm glad it was the chicken and not the egg who came first. Hello, we can hear you. Hello there. My name is Stan, and I'm in charge of this operation. What can I do you for? I'm sorry, you're in charge. You're in danger. Do 
do I look like a tall teacher? It's not me! She did say Piggy. My name's Bunny, and I'm locked in one of the classrooms. Please, help me! Huh? Speak louder. Which classroom? What do you see? Anything might be a clue. Hello? How are we supposed to find her? We don't. She's as good as dead. Besides, we're gonna be late to class. Uncle, you're not a student here, and neither is he. Ma'am, I've already failed algebra once. It's not happening a squared time. Wait up. What if I told you I was uncool in high school? What? No. How? Why? Where? When? I want to see if I can be cool. I'll be back to help save the lady or whatever. We should not split up. There's a murderous teacher on the loose, and you're making yourself a bigger target on your own. Again, it's not me. Is everything okay back there? Mm hmm Hmm. What was that? It was a test. You passed. Finally, this one's going on the fridge. I'm Chloe S. This is Chloe L and Chloe M. You said we passed? How? You didn't tattle. You were cool. Cool? And now we're friends. Friends? In three. Two. One. Well, she's not in here either. Another empty classroom, another empty closet. Did somebody say budget cuts? Did they? I hope they don't need stitches. Maybe we should split into teams. We'll find Bunny faster that way. I don't know. I've watched a lot of slasher movies, and every time the group splits up, somebody dies. What do you think, Chick? Dax? Chick? my size and my strength. Uh, normally fun isn't really my thing, but when you launched me into the sky, I saw the world from a new angle. Chickens don't really fly. We can flutter down from heights, but today, today I scored. Awesome! Let's go back outside! No way. That last fall bruised my nuggets. I am funned out. This killer just watched us climb into this locker. We are so dead. Maybe he blinked and missed us? This locker's basically a coffin. Good news is our loved ones won't go in debt and can bury us here. We thought we saw murderer Miss Piggy. How many times do I have to say I am not the maniac killer? I wave. Our bad. Where have you guys been? Everywhere. <laughs> Were you outside? How'd you know? It smells like cooked chicken. But I put on SPF 50. Hmm, could have been worse. Did you find Bunny? Not yet, uh, but we've been able to clear 10 more classrooms. Shh. Why are we in here again? I don't know. Why did you let me do this again? I'd say what a dumb idea, but I know we're already thinking it. <laughs> Why is everyone walking down halls in the scariest way possible? Stan, Oakley. Did you find Bunny? No, but we did make new friends. Everyone, this is Chloe S, Chloe L, Chloe M, Chloe T, and other Chloe S. Chloe S, Chloe L, Chloe M, Chloe T, and other Chloe S, this is everyone. Hi. Uh, hey. The Chloe's are verified. Verified what? They're verified, Claire, on Tick Block. Show them. <laughs> Has anyone found Bunny? Who's Bunny? She's the one who told us about the murder pig. I cannot. Why are we in here? It's the ending we deserve. What if we build an ether portal right outside the door? How would that work for us? Who cares? Let's do it. <laughs> who was that again? Pig went into another dimension? Yep. And it's not him. No. And who are they? Ah, yes. Bunny, this is Chloe S, Chloe L, Chloe M, Chloe T, and other Chloe S. Chloe S, Chloe L, Chloe M, Chloe T, and other Chloe S. This is Bunny. And you are? I'm Cloakley. I'm pretty much one of the Chloes. And I'm Stan. Oh, wow. Well, is that the time? Uh, I need to get back to the admin office. I had some folks coming in to apply for the janitor job. That's us. Yeah. We want to clean the cafeteria so we can eat leftovers. Cloakley, why do you hang out with all of these olds? My friends? No, Cloakley. The Chloe's are your friends. These are olds. Do they even know the latest kickbox dance? I do. 
The Chloe's are your friends now, and only the Chloe's. You're not to befriend any non-Chloe's. Do you understand? In an emergency, there are four emergency Chloe's. Please take a moment to locate your nearest Chloe, as it may be behind you. Before helping others with their Chloe, make sure you have tightly secured your Chloe. You have freed us all from the tyranny of Chloe S. All hail Stan, queen of the Chloe's. But, but I want to be the cool one. I'm bored. Let's go home. Can I be queen of the Chloe's now? No. Fine. I didn't want to anyway. I guess we're leaving. Come with me to my world. I think you'd really like it there. What? Dax, don't listen to it. I live here with all my stuff. My bed, my bicycle, my poster of the Jonas Brothers. You can visit. We'll get jobs as bank robbers. That sounds nice. Now get out of here! What? Uh, I know. I, I said I'm leaving. Skedaddle doodle do! That's a rooster. Where's this animosity coming Scram, from? Scram, you chicken! I am, okay? Just give me a sec Cross to- Cross the road like you're supposed to! God, okay. Yeesh. Go! Goodbye, my friend. Hello? Stan? Pork chop? Stan, this isn't funny. Holy shit! In an emergency, there are four emergency Chloe's. Please take a moment to locate your nearest Chloe, as it may be behind you. 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 You just got rogue! I don't think this is the Aether or the Overworld. Bookshelves, huh? Must be for enchantments. Find items, unlock doors, escape piggy? Not this again. Am I cursed? Do I have a curse on me? Stan, this is a real question. Maybe. Sounds like the only way out of this woodland mansion is by finding magical items that unlock doors. Wow, I'm proud of you for figuring that out so fast. What can I say? Me good thinker. I guess if I tap E then. Awesome, a secret door. Maybe it leads to magical items. This can't be good. What was that? It's creative mode. There's bound to be weird sound effects. See, these player creators love putting sound triggers everywhere. Let's keep moving. We only have another minute before Piggy wakes up. We should split up. Isn't that dangerous? Tanner, Roach, you two continue down this hallway. Caroline and I are going to go back downstairs. Splitting up is a bad idea. See you soon. What in the tilted towers is that? Hey, isn't that chick? Oh yeah. Huh, I wonder where Stan and Porkchop are. Oh, all guns vaulted except lever action. <laughs> Help! Oh, spider eyes, we're never getting out this way. Wow, there's a lot of holes in these walls. I hope we aren't in here too long. I didn't bring any snacks. You have food? Had. <clears throat> Had. Great, that will get us into the attic. We should get back to the others. Remind me to never accept Roach's invites to creative games. Aw, a little spider. Ew, it's a cringy spider. Yeah. Run. Ah! It may be behind you. You just got Roach. Why the f did you do that? Uh, he just saved your ass. Yeah, you should be thanking me. Thanking you? That girl was kind of my friend, and you just one shot at her. But, but, her snout! It could be some weird curse or something. We are in a creepy house where all the portrait's eyes are definitely just cut out so someone in the walls can watch us. <gasps> I know how to handle this talking painting. <laughs> well, we're dead. Stan, stop. Wait, more friends. I think it's my friends. Aw, but I love killing! It's okay, buddy, we'll shoot other people. How did you get in there? A secret bookcase door thing! Redstone contraption, eh? Have you tried chopping your way back through? No. Now that all that is settled, what do we do now? I've had it with weird gimmicks and forced encounters. I'm going home, and I'm taking these with me! Drama, drama, drama. I'm heading out too. I just want to go home to my oak on oak on oak plank house and listen to my music discs. Well, uh, nice seeing you again. Eh. Jerk. Where's Caroline and Anya? Oh, God! Right. I'm gonna bounce. Ugh, why 
Why did we have to come all the way to the top of the mountain for snow? There's plenty of it at the bottom. For the experience. Everybody likes a good adventure. Right, Pork Chop? Yeah, I'm making a trail of snow pigs. Of course. Let's just hurry up, though. It's freezing up here. Wow, that thing is seriously strong. You're telling me. And it likes my snow pig. Can we keep it, please? <sighs> Fine. What? Seriously? That thing just kicked me so hard feathers fell out. Ugh. That thing's a killing machine. I'm gonna call you Beardy. Hmm. That gives me an idea. Uh, guys? Are we sure this is a good idea? Of course it is. If we can figure out how to make this guy headbutt on command, we'll be unstoppable. But Beardy's not violent. He's a gentle soul. Yeah, right. See how long it takes him to attack you. Oh, come on. This is taking forever. Yeah, what is wrong with it? Hello? Come on, over here. Well, I guess this idea was a bust. <laughs> wow, that was so impressive, Beardy. You're so talented. We are getting rid of that menace right now. If you can get it away from Porkchop, be my guest. All right, one, two, three, four iron blocks and a pumpkin. I've really outdone myself this time. A security system for your Lego brick of a house. Really, just how smooth is your brain, Stan? Well, my brain is actually full of wrinkles or blocks. I actually don't know what is in what? my- What is my name? Huh? My name, you creator who has given me life. What is my name? Whoa. I hate this. Uh, I hadn't really thought about that. Am I to walk this earth with no name? Are you thoughtless, spiteful, or maybe you find me burdensome? It's to be given consciousness, not punishment enough. He speaks to my soul. Wow, you talk a lot. Well, let's just make sure you don't wander off. A leash attached to a pole, like an animal, a dog. First, you refuse me the decency of identity. And now you treat me like a monster. Hmm, maybe the pumpkin with no face next time. Enjoy your thoughts or whatever. I'm gonna get back to mining. Wait, Stan, you're not going back into the strip mine, are you? I am. How do you think I'm gonna replenish all that iron our operatic guard dog just used up? Agony. I know nothing and all too much at the same time. My god, a deserter and a miscreant. <clears throat> I've never felt more seen. I don't know. It didn't seem great for your mental health. Shh. <laughs> something at work in my soul which I do not understand. Chick, what are you doing? Uh, I was, uh, I heard a zombie skeleton spider climbing around and wanted to make sure it couldn't get in. You're up early. Early? I wake up at exactly the same time every day, a few moments after closing my eyes, just like everyone else. Uh, yeah, you're right. Wow, uh, is it hot in here? I'm going to go for a swim in the breeze. Are you having a stroke? Yes. Chick, ready to go? I'm excited to go check out that abandoned mine shaft. Yeah, about that. I was thinking maybe I could hang back for this one. Make sure the golem doesn't get up to anything. I tied him to that pole, like an animal. The only thing he's gonna get up to is preparing a monologue. Everywhere I see bliss, from which I alone am irrevocably excluded. There's no way he wrote that. Excellent point. That's why it will be good if I stay here. Maybe he's been possessed or uh, he's defective. You two go. Trust me. <clears throat> huh, maybe you're right. Well, I'm getting hungry and I've only been standing. Let's rock this shit, pork chop. See you tonight, chick. Hey, so you and I seem to be on the same page about a lot of stuff. Are you too horrified of the inevitability of pain? Sort of. I mostly just think this house looks really stupid. It does look very bad. Don't you dare let go! You seem very knowledgeable, chick. One day I hope to see the fullness of this world. You know what? Screw this. You need to be free, Golem. Find your own path. Thank you. I will not forget your kindness. Chick, where the hell is the Golem? What is a life without love, loss, freedom, and adventure? Who are we to deny agency and ignore the passions of a unique and hopeful creature? Are we villains 
Or are we gods? Is there even a difference? You're a bad person, Stan, and bad things should happen to you. Relax, you two. I'm making renovations. Also, it is almost midday. Why are you even sleeping? I'm sleeping because the only friend I've made in ages you chained to a pole and I needed to release into the wild. Yeah! I'm sleeping because you've gotten us trapped in the nether so many times I'm starting to think maybe that's where I belong. Yeah! I'm sleeping because based on your seemingly indiscriminate murder of every living creature, you probably qualify as a war criminal. Yeah! Wait, what? <laughs> See? You two never cut me any slack. Anytime I build a home, no matter how hard I try, you constantly make fun of me. Try is a bad word. I'm kicking you out. You're no longer welcome in my home. You know what, Stan? Fine! Good. Sort of weird not having anyone to talk to. Hmm. Pork Chop and Chick constantly tease me about you. You know what? I think you add a lot of character to the room, Block of Dirt. Enough character that I'm gonna call you Dirty Joe. Ha! <laughs> Dirty Joe the Block of Dirt. I must be losing it! Goodness, Joe. Constantly whispering gibberish and squealing? How am I supposed to focus? Hmm. I don't remember either of you being here. A guard tower. That's what I need. Make sure Pork Chop and Chick don't sneak back in. Perfect. Goodness, Joe. Constantly whispering gibberish and squealing. How am I supposed to focus? There you go, pals. I feel like Cobblestone, Carolyn, and Flower haven't had the chance to meet you, Joe. It's so great bringing everyone together like this. No, this is your fault. Just come clean and no one will get hurt. Dirty Joe didn't need to go the way he did. And you and I both know where Cobblestone Caroline's silent treatment got her. I don't think I've ever eaten a friend before. I bet you're delicious. Hey, Stan. Caroline did it, I swear. I couldn't stop her because of Joe. I didn't eat flour. Judgment is only passed in the nether, not in this biome, you fiends. I couldn't eat flour. I didn't have the strength. Holy shit. You've really lost it, Stan. Told you. Quiet, chick. Stan. Look, Chick and I both wanted to apologize for constantly making fun of your houses. Yeah, Stan. Look, this house might not be a house, or technically hospitable, considering its current state. But you know what it is, Stan? A prison, much like the mine. No, Stan. It is a home. Maybe not a house, but it is a home because we are together. Do you really mean that, Chick? Of course not. Workshop told me to say all of this. Wait, what? Chick! I, I mean, yes. Yes. These are exactly my thoughts and feelings. I missed you guys so much. I'm sorry I lost my temper earlier. Where did you guys go all this time? I hope you were safe. We fended for our lives in the wilderness. Okay, but seriously, Stan, you're going to need to fix this wall. Wow, guys, what a day. I am exhausted. Did you enjoy ravaging the natural world, Daniel? Yes, yeah, Dan. Have you removed all the beauty of this land for your next moronic endeavor? My projects are not moronic. I need this cobblestone to give that castle another shot. Stan, what on earth is all of this? It's called copper ore. It's everywhere and I have no idea what it's used for besides taking up my inventory space. Well, Stan, it looks like you can make lightning rods with that copper. That sounds kind of dangerous. Yeah, but lightning is very cool. Very cool. Doesn't lightning supercharge creepers? No idea, but lightning supercharges my good mood. I do love summoning the overwhelming power and chaos of the universe. That sounds more dangerous than the supercharged creepers. Well, I guess it's settled. Time to make lightning rods. This is going to be so rad. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. This 
was such a bad idea. You think, Stan? You think this is a bad idea? The might of the universe is scary! I think it's finally over, guys. That was so scary! <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Who could be knocking on our door? Hello. Nope. Who was it? A creeper. You're kidding. I am not, and I would like to wake up from this nightmare now. Greetings. Get a grip, guys. I've never heard a creeper talk. There is clearly something bigger at play here. May I have a moment of your time? Uh... I see your verbal communication skills are subpar to say the least, but that is okay. I shall speak slowly and limit the range of my vocabulary. Now, Stan, I believe that is the name I heard your friends exclaim. My companions and I come in peace. My name is Creeper, and by a miraculous turn of events, your lightning field has freed me from my previously mindless existence. I have been launched into a new, more complicated world to dissect and understand. The sublime feeling of deep thought and philosophical quandaries fill my heart with joy. In no uncertain terms, I am very smart. I want to thank you and offer a bargain. You allow my companions and I to build a haven for our kind in the field below, and I will reward you with knowledge. You will learn how to build tools of great power and great destruction. Hmm. Sounds an awful lot like nerd shit. What if I refuse? I'll let my friend here do what he does best. Well, I would love to do some nerd shit. Good. I honestly didn't know a creature could be so stupid. I'm shocked he even knew how to make a crafting table, never mind a lightning rod. I am reminded of the delightful theorem. An infinite amount of zombies with infinite books will eventually write Hamlet. Well, my compatriots, it would appear as though the being known as Stan is the titular infinite zombies, a toast to his infallible stupidity and the moronic machinations of his empty-headed partners. But without their poor judgment, we would not be able to share this moment together. They said what? A lot of mean stuff about me and you. Only I'm allowed to be mean to me. Yeah, something about tits too, I think. Risque! What a bunch of jerks. What are you going to do, Stan? What I do best, ravage the land. Sucks to suck, nerd. Wow, this amethyst stuff must be pretty valuable if it's this rare. Yeah, I don't know about that. But valuable I can get behind. All the shiny things are valuable. Whoa. Whoa. It's so shiny. And there's so much of it. We're gonna be rich. Let's go give Porkchop the good news. 352, 353, 354. Whoa, you guys found a lot. I also got a ton of emeralds. Look at this. No time for that now. We have amethyst, an obviously superior material. Ah, oh, cool. What does it do? Well, we're about to find out. <laughs> Aha. That's probably kind of useful, right? I don't see any mob farms around here, do you? Ugh, oh, it's useless. Wait, no, there's another thing. Make that one. This one's kind of cool. No, it's not. I have Optifine. It's just more junk. Well, crafting is a bust. What else can you do with blocks in Minecraft? This is, uh... Gaudy. Sparkly! Face it, this stuff is horrible to build with. It's like an obnoxious version of Purpur. What are we supposed to do with all this amethyst we collected then? Well, we wanted to get rich, right? If we're trying to get rich, I got a ton of emeralds. I can- Let's go scam the villagers with these. No. Oh, well, what do we do now? How about those emeralds I got? These new cavern biomes are fun. An exhilarating experience! An entirely new world. Another observation about the game state. What? Nothing. Uh, did you two hear that? All I hear is my beating heart as a town's full of adventure. Not this stuff again. Watch out! Goodbye, Porkchop. 
Now, how do I mine this Silk touch, Stan. It's mining 101. Silk touch! That clicking is getting closer. Pork chop, stop listening to the sounds in your head and help me find a way to mine these crystals. <coughs> Silk touch! Damn it, this isn't working. Okay, I'm hearing a heartbeat now. I mentioned that, adventure, etc. I don't care how full of adventure you are, Stan. It's not normal to hear another person's heartbeat. What if you have a stethoscope? Or what if you delicately rest your head upon their chest like a pillow? The beats, a tender reminder of a loved one's mortality. What if their chest was like open? Sure, Stan. If it was like open. Weird. Now I hear something. Finally! I thought I was having a stress-induced aneurysm. Well, that heartbeat definitely isn't coming from Stan. Run! What is that thing? I told you so, I told you so, I told you so, I told you so! Maybe now isn't the best time for I told you so. When would be the best time, Chick? When we're being devoured? I think we're safe. My god, Staniel, are you the dumbest man alive? It hears us! Oh, great. Maybe I can ask him if he also thinks you two are jerks. There. Now, we're safe. This might be it for us, guys. Pushing is rude! You two suck, but you're my friends. I can't believe he just saved us! Let's head home. I'm sure he's dead and respond by now. That creature could be stealing Stan's soul! We need to save him! Ugh, fine. Do you still have that pickaxe he gave you? Yeah, Stan has gotten into the nasty habit of throwing these at me. Why are we saving him again? He hasn't eaten us yet! We're coming to save you! Mm, yeah, we're toast. Come on, you weird monster thing. God, my creativity is shit. I, uh, just did a whole heroic thingy and now we're supposed to battle to the death, right? Oh god, oh god, oh god! Ah! What do you want from me? For me? It burns us! Wait, I'm healed. So... You aren't going to smash me and explode my inventory all over the cave? Not to be rude, but does that mean, like, I can go... go on a tour of your lovely home? Wow, clicks. Can I call you clicks? This is a real place. You've got to be f***ing with me. Kill me. This video kills me. Your coordination, the beat? Wow. Great videos, clicks. They are not terrible. They are not a horrifying reminder that I am old and out of touch with modern youth, but I really must be going. Going to make a gift for you to return your kindness and the hundreds of tick blocks you torture... subject... Yeah, shared with me. Okay, no mining. I'll just use these blocks I... Uh, found. For you. Right? You're blind. Boy, that really complicates this whole premise. Here, come with me. I'm just playing. Huh, you are scary strong. Scary, scary. I'm gonna die here. Dan! We're here to save you! I am definitely dying here. Come on, you cheap Halloween decoration. Show me what you got! Ah! Pork chop, chick. Glad to see you. Please understand that Clix... You named it? Clix is merely a protector of this cavern. A warden, some might say. He attacked because we were breaking our blocks. They are a gentle, creative, with clearly too much alone time. Now, clicks. These are my only friends. They're idiots. Please don't crush them. I want to see us end this in friendship, not violence. Can we stop fighting and grow together as companions in a peaceful world? Stan, you're insane. But I do like the concept of remaining alive. Peace it is, then. Too tight, too. Huh. No more new friends, Daniel. Look, I don't know why the village burned down. I was following a lead. A lead that this village was hiding some valuable and rare clothing dyes. This was the kind of intel that if you weren't a bit nuts, you'd walk away from. Some might say I was a bit nuts, and I'd say I was 50 cents short of a dollar. I might be hard to understand. Quite frankly, most people don't. But I'm the best at what I do. They say curiosity killed the cat, but I had no intention of getting skinned tonight. This village wasn't what it appeared to be, or as the villager I shook down earlier that day put it. Aww. I 
I didn't know what I was looking at, but it looked interesting. It crackled and gave off a pulsing low heat. If there's one thing I know, interesting to one person is lethal to another. That was enough reason for me to pocket it. My plans changed rapidly, as they tend to in this kind of work. I didn't know what Chick was doing here, but I decided to take a gander at his personal project, and what I found wasn't at all what I expected. Expectations. That's a word I need to cut from my vocabulary. <coughs> Boy, is it hard to keep talking like this? <coughs> what I saw was delicate and beautiful. Bouquet of flowers. The precise materials for clothing dyes. I figured I'd swap the orbs out. Clothing dye might catch a dame's eye. I didn't need these fiery orbs, and they didn't need me. I was being watched, so I bolted. Made it to the outskirts of the village where the smell of smoke caught my attention. I looked back. The whole thing was burning. Smoke from this world and a fire that danced with malevolent joy. My best guess is our perp started this whole thing via those orbs. What I'm certain of, however, is I didn't do it. Someone is trying to pin this on me, and I ain't no donkey. Look, I don't know why the village burned down. There was work to be done. Compassion may be in short supply, but while blood pumps in this heart, I shall lay siege to the darkness. Before the haunting black specter of death reclaims us all, I will not falter. Flowers are born from the ground we walk on, but unlike other creatures, do not wreak havoc upon the world around them. Instead, they live in harmony, a quality I strongly admire. Among a few others, exhibited strongly in iron golems, I thought a reward, most unusual, was in order. The device was ready. I took a deep breath, excitement teetering on the edge of my wings. Unorthodox measures to yield extraordinary results. I was prepared to deliver what most certainly would have been a well-received gift, but instead, there was a horrible explosion. I was filled with panic and fled. I noticed, in my cowardly retreat, Bam Bam perched atop a hill adjacent to the one I had descended mere moments ago. Bam Bam, stripped of their innocence in moments, now tumbling towards the raging inferno. Before I could act, none other than Porkchop appeared. He dashed with incomprehensible speed and whisked Bam Bam away. Look, I don't know why the village burned down! Stan is a cruel man. He takes from the land but offers Chick and I nothing in return. Despite my small stature, honor and valor are not in short supply. I took this into great consideration with my plan. I was to borrow some resources from the nearby village and make a very unique object, something I would happily share with the villagers once completed. Do you know what blaze powder is? Well. It is an extremely rare and coveted resource. I had managed to discover some while traveling in the nether. I wrested from the smoldering hands of a blaze itself. With the blaze powder and coal I borrowed from the villager, I was prepared to craft a fire charge, an object of great and terrible power. From the moment I made it, however, I knew it should never see the light of day. If Stan was to get his greedy hands upon it, who knows what destruction it might rain. That's when I heard footsteps. Even if my attentions were good, on my honor, I could not be found guilty of theft. I hid the charge and climbed through the window. Once they had left, I checked the house, but my fire charges were gone. I peered through the window to see who had taken them, and it was none other than the villain himself, Stan. I was going to need to find a way to get those charges back from Stan. But before I could even formulate a plan, I could smell the smoke. I looked back and to my horror, the village was ablaze! That's when I saw him! I don't know what devious plot Chick was formulating. My ambitions may have exceeded the grasp of crafting those fire charges, but I would not see Bam Bam come to harm! I wouldn't call myself a hero, but if that's what the people are saying, I won't stop them. What is most important here is that I didn't do it. Have you tried talking to Stan or Chick? Maybe they know something. You can't just keep me here for no reason. It's against, I don't know, Minecraft laws. Ah! Wait, can you even talk? Oh no, it was Chick, it was Stan. I'll help you catch them. Calm down, pork chop. Yeah, it's just us. But, but I'm not doing my interrogation. Yeah, that isn't a cop, that's just a stupid horse. Wait, 
So he can't talk? Nope. Jake and I had the same questions earlier, but we were holding out to see if you'd confess. You know I didn't burn down the village. You stole the fire charges. Stan, you're the guilty, guilty one. Guilty? They were your creation. It's literally your fire. Besides, Chick is the one who blasted them into the village. Blasted them into the village? I was blasting flowers at my friend. Are you insane? If the fire charges were in the dispenser, that's your fault, Stan. <gasps> oh, it's Bam Bam, my good friend. Ah, oh, guys, we can't argue like this in front of Bam Bam. If there weren't any witnesses, I guess none of us are guilty. If a tree falls in the woods and no one's there to hear it, does it burn down the village? What? I don't know. I'm trying to be clever. Well, stop it. <sighs> this is new. Stan, is this all redstone? I might need it. Last time you used this much redstone, you blew up an entire village! In Stan's unneeded defense, they were a bunch of jerk creepers. Blowing up jerks is great, but this has to go! Dumb pork chop and chick, I'll show them. You have no idea what this mind is capable of. Pure, unadulterated creativity flows through me. This isn't hard. My life is cool, and I do cool stuff. I can make a cool thing. Yeah, people would be lucky to experience half the adventures I've been on. I've done it! Did you finally get rid of the redstone? You might say that. I'd prefer if you'd just say that. You made a giant black square. Nice job, Kubrick. I don't understand the reference and won't dignify it with a response. Isn't that technically a response? Quiet, pig. Look at my creation. Holy shit, Stan! Did you make a video game of our adventures? Yes. Why do our characters look like that? Eh, consider it a creative liberty. Wow! Stan, you are so cool! I wish I could be as cool as you. I know. You can't, but thank you. Huh, creative Ugh. liberties are bad, but this is still impressive. I love being mean. Nerd stuff! Drink my potion! How did you even figure this out? Maybe I'm smarter than you think. You're not, but keep your secrets. You should get some sleep, Stan. You look awfully tired, and we do not want any phantom spawning. Tired? I feel wide awake! What on earth? Well, I've gone crazy. Didn't think it would feel like this. What is going on? I take it back, Stan. I look pretty cool with a monster's face. I think he's trying to communicate. Your powers of observation are a matched pork job. <laughs> Wow, that one sounds just like you, Chick! <laughs> Spoke too soon, Porkchop. Stan nailed your voice. Well, we're definitely going to need to get rid of them. I don't know, Stan. They aren't attacking. Maybe we just give them some space. What are they up to? I don't know, but maybe we should just leave them alone. Leave them alone? They are monsters! Man, you have a pretty awful track record when it comes to creating life. Well, everything ends up being evil or hating me. That might say more about you than your creation, Stan. Fine. If there are no problems, they can stay. Hey, put that down. What are you doing? <laughs> Seems pretty evil to me. We steal from villagers all the time. It's not that bad. We should check on the video game. Maybe we can figure out how they got here at all. Oh, wow! I guess it's technically theirs now. Theirs? But I made it. Yeah, but they were born there? You're really grasping at straws, poor chop. <laughs> yeah, I'm over it. Here we go again. They were watching us sleep. Name one instance where it makes sense to watch an adult sleeping. Exactly. Look, I did them a favor. Clearly, they don't belong here. Oh, no! Shit. Run! 
Well, you really screwed us on this one, Stan. If you just let me keep my chest of redstone, I never would have made this game. Stan, I'm sorry I made you do something you didn't want to, but we need to work together. Maybe we can break the game? Good idea. This time we sneak in and we disconnect some of the redstone, then they can't respawn. I kill them, bada bing, bada boom. Problem solved. This seems suspiciously easy. You're just being paranoid. You're being paranoid. <laughs> At least one of us will die happy. What on earth just happened? Bam Bam! Bam Bam, you're a hero. Maybe you might make a regular member of the group. Have you seen the weaponsmith? Uh, we're kind of busy here. If you could just leave us be, that'd be great. <sighs> okay, this isn't like me to request help, but the village is nearly empty. All our skilled laborers have vanished. It's just me, three children, and the fisherman. We can't keep living like this. Our librarian, armorer, and cleric haven't been seen in weeks. Someone found the farmer's dropped orbs in the woods. <gasps> What if there's a serial killer, or a bloodthirsty cult, or even worse, uh... Oh, you're still here? What's your profession? You got any goods for sale? I don't do trade. Then why are you still here? Ugh, jerks. Did she say something about a librarian? Just that he went missing last month. Weird. That's probably her again. Go away. We don't want your smelly nitwit aura around us. Hey, what did Porkchop say he was gonna do instead of hang with us? Close his eyes and pretend to sleep. Why? Because he's sneaking around the woods being shady instead. Eh, whatever. Who cares what he does? He told me he didn't know how to make secret doors. We should follow him and see what weird stuff he gets up to. I don't know. We had a good rhythm with these leaves. Never mind. That sounds way cooler. Let's follow Porkchop around and make fun of him for being so strange and secretive. Dang, we lost him. Well, back to the leaves. He must have built some sort of redstone contraption that opens these doors. He threw that bead on the ground. Maybe there's a hopper beneath this block? Something that triggers the door's opening. We'll need to drop an item to... He made it once, he can make it again. I guess this is where Porkchop gets his endless supply of potions. Hey, uh, how are you doing? <laughs> I thought you were going to dismantle the Iron Golem farm, not move it. I did! Porkchop clearly rebuilt it behind my back. How despicable. It does provide a lot of iron. At what cost, Stan? At what cost? Now this sounds like fun. Trading? Oh no. <laughs> Save us! I hate books! Let me out of here! I haven't slept in three weeks. Despite my profession of choice, I in fact hate books! Everyone shut up! All right, which way did the pig go? First one to answer gets let out. He went that way. Thank you. You may go. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> Good luck, scrubs. Whatever, let's look for pork chop. Shouldn't we, you know, rescue them? No, that sounds like work. I'll give you an iron axe. Wouldn't you rather have an enchanted book with unbreaking three, luck of the... I meant to sword. A diamond enchanted sword. All right, people, who has the enchantment for efficiency? You're in trouble, pig. Yeah, we found your evil lair. This isn't an evil lair. It's my secret base. Do you even know where your food comes from? The earth? Duh. Wrong. My automated farm's in my secret base. If you didn't want us to break that golem farm and release your villagers, you should have told us. Fine. Next time I'll tell you when I kidnap a bunch of villagers' children and force them to quickly age and into specific professions. Happy? Sure. Yeah, whatever. We got a ton of free junk from those villagers. Do you want any cookies or cake? Yeah, they were getting pretty annoying. You're telling me. I'm sad. I never wanted to be a librarian. <laughs> <laughs> Aw, you're pretending to play chess. Go away, Stan. This is a serious game. You're a chicken and a pig. How serious can it be? Chess represents the intellectual battle between a person and their own inadequacies. 
Thus, undistinguished persons are prone to behave poorly. So you think only dumb people freak out when they lose? Huh. <laughs> Any player can maintain composure, but to remain calm in a loss is truly undignified, as you will soon know. Then let's make this fun. If I win, you have to bow and call me the true intellectual of our friend group, as only the most dignified person could. I do say, old chap. What a petty wager. I accept. If I should win, you'll clear out that horrific dirt pile Stan left next to the house. Seal. And how shall the great Grandmaster Porkchop return from this setback? And check. This is why you shouldn't underestimate me. I'm the true intellectual. Say it. You're not a true intellectual. We made a deal. Deal with this. Ow, hey, that hurt. Whoa. Hi, guys. How did we not know about this room? Not to brag, but I did a great job hiding this wing of the house. Unlikely, but the skull is cool. Aren't you worried about piglin zombies taking over the house? That painting doesn't exactly lock. Eh, what's the worst that could happen? I'd rather go out and explore the world and meet someone new than stay home. We've been to the nether before. Not every biome. I want adventure, fear, and my eyes to bleed with joy! That's not a thing. Well, I'm making it one. Ha, huh, sulfur. Nature's perfume. No. Way. Did you just say... What I think you said? Um, no. Wait, yes. Which is better? Dude, he likes smelling your farts. I do not. I said I like the smell of sulfur gas. <laughs> he admits it. <laughs> no need to be rude. Lighten up. It's just a joke. Jeez, you guys just need to chill. Let me handle this. Look, bully to bully, I see what you two are doing. I get it. Stan's an easy target with his dumb face and words. Hey. But let's just move along, okay? <laughs> Is he serious? Wow, you sound like a lame dad. I hate you. None of you are cool enough to hang out with us. Get out while we're still being nice. This is you being nice? I'm officially done being nice. Ah! What was that? Oh, they're demons or something, man. I told you to stop picking on creatures we don't recognize. No, you didn't, liar! Yeah, that's right. Scram. He's gone. Stan? Stan? This is not what I meant when I said I wanted to visit new biomes. Stan probably clipped into the wall and suffocated. He'll have respawned by now. Good. The house is likely infested with those creepy zombie piglins. Hey, only I get to complain about my weird cousins. They just stare. And stare. And stare. Crap. Our portal must have linked with someone else's. We can't get home. I thought this was a private server. Ha! <laughs> I win, dumb light. What if they're rude? Or mean? Or... carnivores? We're just going to be polite and tell them their dumb portal connected with our dumb portal, and they better fix it, or else. Ugh, great. No one's home. I'm leaving them a nasty note. Can we fix the portal ourselves? If we add coordinates to our portal in the overworld, we could- Oh, you mean 2057837-4? Yes! How did you know that? I'm the true intellectual of our friend group, if you must know. Ugh. Hey, watch where you're going! Aw, you made a friend at your IQ level! How sweet! Ugh. This is such a lame watch. <laughs> I don't want your baklava! Are you sure this is gonna work? As sure as 205 divided by 8 equals 25.625. Okay, if you're so smart, what's 374 divided by 8? 46.75. We're here. If this works, which it won't, I'll bow and call you a true intellectual. I don't get it. You always take Stan's side on stuff. Do you really have that little faith in me? Prove me wrong. Then we'll see.
Oh yeah, that's right. Now, I know you won't actually bow or compliment me, but... You are the true intellectual of our friend group. <gasps> do you... do you really mean that? <sighs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> Oink. You guys are the best. Oink. Ugh, I don't want to have to deal with these losers. Hello, me. Everybody out! Out! Oink! Jerk! Who wants a chess rematch? Uh. Um, Stan? Also, only a small percentage of people that watch my videos are actually subscribed. Hey, bud. Everything okay? So if you end up enjoying this video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. <laughs> Enjoy! Okay, well, then I'll do this. Go forth, mighty steed. Now. I think you're missing something. <clears throat> Alana, I'm drying up. Hop on in. <laughs> Gilly, what the? Cut that out. <laughs> My memory palace totally has a secret recipe to writing pigs. Give me a sec. Gotta regain access. Mutton. Didn't you faint last time you tried that silly memory thing? Well, I don't think I need to tame pigs to write them. You don't. Thanks. That's what I thought. It's been a while since I've done this. You need a carrot on a stick, dude. Ha! That's the magic formula. Oh, yeah, uh huh. Carrot stick. Oh, yeah, uh huh. <sighs> Feeling a little lightheaded. Thought that might help. Uh, 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 yeah. <sighs> Ta da! should take it slow. Ooh. Faster, faster! <laughs> yeah! Let's go! Then he said, don't worry, I won't butcher the punchline. <gasps> what utter nonsense! <laughs> Watch out! We got a mad cow! A pig! Oh. How, How utterly rude! rude. Should we warn them there's a cow lift ahead? Most certainly not. Ooh. Ooh. I'm getting old. Maybe I should try accessing my memory palace differently. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. Mm. Look! Ooh, a sharp tall cliff. Hey, stop! I command you in the name of our carrots and wheat and... Oh! Ah! This is why you always wear Elytra. You know why I can't, right? Yeah, I know. Hey, where's Mutton? Oh, she's right. Behind... us? Hmm, I don't see her. Mutton! Mutton, where are you? Uh, my God, can you please keep that down? I'm trying to access my memories. <laughs> Mutton, I see her. Looks like she made friends. 
Bad manners, that one. Surely you aren't surprised. Oh. <laughs> and not you, Mutton. That was awesome! <laughs> I can access my memory palace! Really? That's what Magic Mutton called it. Should we be concerned? Yes. I feel alive! <sighs> Time for video games and chill. I don't think that means what you think it means. Getting into the Halloween spirit? You know it. I love spooky season. I don't much like Halloween, but I do love potion making. And that's pretty Halloween-y. Does it really count if you do it all year long? Yes! And I'll be taking no more follow-up questions. Hey, you two, it's Halloween. A time to be frightened, not mad at friends. I'll be honest, Stan. I don't scare easily. Goose and ghouls are a little contrived. I'll show you guys just how spooky Halloween can be. Please don't. Hey, bud. I built this super scary haunted house. I'm gonna need some folks to play the monsters. Do you think anyone here would be interested? That literally sounds like a death trap. It's not a death trap. Not a real one, at least. It's a one-of-a-kind spooky season experience. Hmm. What's in it for us? The thrill of participating in a fun holiday activity. So you want free labor? No. Well, yes, but it's for the greater good. You'll leave with stories to tell for the rest of your life. Also, a ton of emeralds. You gorilla! It's your house! You can just open the door! My potions! Standathon, what are you doing? Consider that a preliminary scare for what is about to come. Kicking in the door to your own home isn't really spooky. It's psychotic. That's not important. What's important is what I've made. It's spooky. Very spooky. Really went all out on the name, huh? Thank you. I think he was being sarcastic. Don't care. <sighs> I assume you want us to go through this fire hazard? Yes. Stan, can we go now? I don't know how many more scares I can take. We're only halfway up the tower, and besides, I haven't gotten Chick to crack just yet. Uh, I told you, Stan. I'm not easily scared. You did scream like a child when that supercharged creeper showed up a couple months ago. An exception to the rule. Huh. Weird. This floor isn't supposed to have zombies on it. Hey, guys! Zombies are on the next floor! Help! Help! There's a zombie! Yes, yes, great performance, but the zombies are supposed to be two floors above. Really? You could win an Oscar with a performance like this. Stan, I don't think this is an act. It's pretty dark in here. I think that's a real zombie. Zombies can't spawn inside of houses you build. Of course they can. That's like Zombies 101. Oh, sh**. Great. Now we get to burn alive. If it makes you feel any better, Stan, I actually am afraid now. I'll be honest, it doesn't. Why didn't you just let me work on my potions? Another portal! Stan! Are all of the surprises tonight designed to kill us? I thought it would be funny to open a portal to the nether. I didn't actually plan on putting any of us in it. I really don't understand your sense of humor, Stan. I'm a very complex man. Well, gang, spooky season might be coming to an end. Wait! I have an idea! I'm not drinking poison, Porktop. It's way too dark. 
Even for me. No, Chick. It's a potion of Featherfall. Quick! Wow, poor chap, you had those the whole time? Yeah, I was working on them before you rudely kicked in the door, if you remember. Luckily, I picked them up. Well, Stan, I'm starting to come around on Halloween. This has given me more of an existential kind of fear, but I'm just happy to see you get into the spirit. And after slaying the dragon for the final time, our heroes flew off into the void sunset. The end. Wow, that was such a great story! Why haven't we explored the end before? Because we'll die. Unfortunately, Chick's right. I mean, you heard the story. Poisonous fruit that'll eat you from the inside out. Strange and indestructible guardians. Vast labyrinthian cities. Ugh, it's a death trap. Even we're not stupid enough to go there. Well, I think we'd make great end explorers. Imagine it. Just a couple of pals exploring the most hostile environment known to man. Or pig. Now that that's over. At least we can go home. Have a warm meal. Wait a second. We gotta explore the Outer End Islands first. And how do we do that? There! Whoa, this is Empty. incredible! Look at all the delicious fruit! Careful, that stuff's poisonous. I'll stick with the food we brought with us, thanks. Um. What is it now? We actually ate it all. So you're telling me- Time to take our chances with the chorus fruit. How? Oh my god, he's dead. No, you idiot. He's over there. Oh, thank god. Wait, did you just teleport? Huh, I guess I did. You guys should try these. They're delicious. Well, he was right about one thing. Come over here. What is it? Try eating the chorus fruit right next to the edge. Maybe it'll teleport you to the next island. Or send you falling into the void. No, it probably won't do that. Probably. I'm on it. Well, I guess that's a bust. How do we get over there, then? We can build a bridge! A very narrow and flimsy bridge. Over the dark abyss. Exactly! That's the spirit! Whoa. Let's-a go! Wait! Uh, guys? A little help? <laughs> this isn't so bad. Those things just spit at me. Gross! Now we got all these awesome shells, too! Do you think these are like shellfish? What? No. Come on, let's just get to the Elytra. Whoa! Wait a second. There's three of us and only one pair of wings. Porkchop should get it. What? You know how many bets I would win if Porkchop got the Elytra? That would show him. Hang on. I want the Elytra. But you already have wings! I can only float. I want to experience real flight. Well, I think Stan should have it. He's the only one that they'd fit anyways. You haven't even tried them on. I don't wanna! I'd fall right off the ship! Pigs aren't made to fly! You can always give them to me. Sounds good to me. What? No. Sorry, Stan. You're outvoted. <sighs> what? Why did the Ender Dragon come back and kill us all? Yeah. How come you gave me the Elytra and then never let me use it? You said the end was dangerous! Yeah, but you made everything that was dangerous easy to defeat, and you just happened to be the one defeating them. No way that would happen in real life. Whatever! I know my story's good! Besides, you didn't let me finish! I don't want to hear the rest. At least let me read the epilogue! <sighs> <sighs> Fine. Let's get it over with. I see the player you mean. <laughs> read our thoughts now. So it knows it is part of a game. That is not how it chooses to imagine itself, but yes. This player used to dream. What did it dream? The player dreamed it was alive. It dreamed it created. It dreamed of shelter. Does it know that we love it? Sometimes. Not as often as it thinks it is alone. And yet, they play the game. The player is restless. I will tell the player a story. But not the truth. No. A story that contains the truth safely in the cage of words. Once upon a time, there was a player. That player was you. Sometimes, the player dreamed it was a man that lived with talking animals. The world was flat and infinite. The days were short and death was not death. Sometimes the player dreamed it was lost in a story. Let's go back. There was a world much older than this one. On it were other players, players who played the long game of life and who created shorter games. Sometimes the players would become other players, would create other players. Shush. 
And sometimes the player believed that it was reading words on a screen. And sometimes the player believed it was hearing a story. That the universe was speaking to it. And the universe said, you are not separate from every other thing. And the universe said, I love you because you are love. And the player woke up because the game was over. And the player dreamed better, dreamed longer. You are the player. Wake up. So what'd you think? Zigzag, everyone! Zigzag! Screaming zigzag doesn't make it easier. Uh, my master! The zombies are climbing up to us! Almost to the surface. I think I hear rain. You're too late. He's dead. Oh, man. Today is not my day. I've had it with survival mode. We're going on vacation. An obstacle course? Time to show off my awesome calves! Find me at the pool when you're done losing to nine-year-olds. Lame and lamer. I'll be busy at an exclusive VIP party. Oh, you don't think I'll get in? Most people find me cool, if not a little intimidating. I'm sure I'll get past the bouncer, no problem. Sure. I'll show you. I'll show you all! Ugh. Hola, I totally belong here. Hold up, bruh. Password. Bruh? <laughs> yeah, can't believe you didn't recognize me. Wow. Why are you here? You're a pig. You're already in the game. Is that supposed to be an insult? I'm fantastic at obstacle courses. See these calves? This isn't a normal lobby. This is where mobs who want to get into Minecraft fight to the death for the right to be in the game. Only one mob can win and I need this. Okay? Man, I need this. Welcome to the Glow Squid Game. In the first round is red light, green light. While the music plays, you must move to the opposite side of the field. When you hear red light and the music stops, you must stop moving or be annihilated. Oh my god! We can do this together! Unlike my friends, I am perfectly content with being alone. Or maybe I can make new friends. Yeah, friends who are smart. Class struggle is too on the nose to be a constructive metaphor. The show was just spectacular under the guise of intellectual discourse. Well, subtext isn't the only route of communication. You use such a myopic lens to dissect any media. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> subtext is so overrated. I'll uh, leave you be. Ugh, that was humiliating. Ugh, why is making friends so hard? Maybe I could impress people with my awesome diving skills. So, yep, kind of a big deal. Really? Oh, are you Steve? Oh my god, you totally are Steve. What? No, my name's Stan. Why are you dressed like Steve? Give me your shirt. Pardon? This guy bothering you? Nah, he's just kind of weird. Aren't you going to ask if he's bothering me? <laughs> Maybe he just doesn't know who you are. I'm very important, okay? I'm the, uh, uh... <laughs> I'm the DJ. No way! So am I. I'm Tabo, but tonight I will be known as Big Crime. Oh, really? Well, I'm Big Deal? That sounds sort of fake. You're sort of fake. Whatever, mate. I've got to go get ready. My set's starting soon. Bruh. 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 <laughs> I can't take this anymore! <laughs> You've got this. Dude, jump already. We're waiting. This was a mistake. Are you ready for big crimes? Uh, maybe if I flip this. Oh, you guys seem to like anything, then how about this? Kill your opponent to win. Really phoned it in on this one. I don't want to do this, Copper! You saved me! You're my friend! I know, Porkchop. No matter what happens, you're my friend too. <laughs> oh no! I won! Oh wait! I won! Wait, is that Stan? <laughs> Stan's having fun? Jump already! Are you kidding me? You're scared of heights and you can fly? Stop! You're stressing me out! I'm gonna... 
Great! Now I can never come back here. Techies, we've got a problem. Sorry, mate. Had to turn you in. Knocking me out was kind of a big crime. No. I belong here. I can save this. Never let me to you, oh yeah. Yeah, for now we're about to get ya. Get down. So, uh, did you have a good time? Something... something like that. You ruined the pool. You are confusing me for another chicken. That was weird. Guys, guys! I won! I beat the obstacle course! I bet your vacations were awesome too! Great, uh, uh, yep. really great. Yeah, no angry mobs. None. Not even one angry tubbo. I'm glad you guys had a good time. Today, I'm playing with the Luminosity Academy, and we're going to be spending 100 days living beneath the roots of this mangrove tree. There's barely enough room for all seven of us. And if we leave the roots, we die. <clears throat> I thought we were going to show them more of the business side of content creation. Maybe bring in Luminosity gaming streamers? Maybe have fun challenges? Make sure you hit that like button. Everyone under the roots! Challenge vids aren't really my thing. We should make content that like is more in line with her passion. Yo, we should switch to Valorant. Yes! No, no! We are doing the Sitting Under Mangrove Roots Challenge! Is there a twist or something else to this? Because honestly, I can't get behind something so boring. We can build boats with chests. Like Jeb. Like Jeb. If we build boats with chests, is everyone good with this challenge? Great! Everyone, under the roots! Give up now, Stan. I win every obstacle course I enter. You've won once. Only once. Hey! <coughs> Wait up! Face it, pig. Your legs are too stubby to beat me. Oh, yeah? Watch this. In your face! Ma, thank you, little guy. You're so perfect, I could devour your soul. Yes, I could. Yes, I could. Water. Dying. I need water. You're not dying. You barely moved that whole time. I saw. Oh, I saw. Stan's just a sore winner. I never. Chick, this is a new low. That's stagnant, dirty swamp water. So? I'm a chicken, and it's water. Typhoid fever, cholera, dysentery. This isn't Oregon Trail. I'm thirsty. You'll see. You'll die from waterborne diseases if you keep this up. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I told you, those are diseases. Bacteria is invisible to the naked eye, Stan. They're tadpoles. Where are their parents? They're probably orphans. Not anymore. I'll take care of them. You? You'd be a terrible parent. I would not. I'd be the best parent. Oh, really? See, he's fine. You had a bucket and still let me drink swamp water. That's your mistake, not mine. Ugh, I'm a better parent than Stan, and you know it. Stan may be irresponsible, but you constantly give in to your vices. What? I'll raise the tadpoles. They'll learn hard work, skilled trades, and... How to be lame. <laughs> fine, have it your way. There are three tadpoles and three of us. We each raise one as our own. You had three buckets? I call purple eyes. I'll take this little guy. We'll reconvene in three days. Enough time for our tadpoles to mature into healthy, or in your case, wayward young froglets. Sure. See you in three days. Here we are, your new home. Damn it, Stan! Hmm, what about Alice? Nah, sounds like an old lady who eats lace or something. What, I don't know any old ladies, but I assume that's what they do for fun. I know. I'll name you... Mega Dad. Okay, okay, how about, uh, hopscotch? That's sorta cute, you're sorta cute. Hopscotch it is. Up and out, Pollywog! You're sleeping the day away! <sighs> Time to wake up, Chaucer. <sighs> Still sleepy. I guess you have been growing like crazy. <sighs> Maybe sleep is good for both of us. <sighs> One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Hip, sway, hip, sway, and one eight. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot you existed. I guess that's something. Stop distracting me, this is my workout. No 
no, no. I said get loyalty three, not looting three. Go back upstairs and get the correct book. Take the other books with you. It's good exercise. I expect you to be back within one minute. Go. <sighs> Crap, how long have I been asleep? You got that yourself? Impressive. <sighs> Time to head back and show that I'm an amazing parent. Porkchop, why is your so colorful? His name is Pollywog, and it's due to him being raised in the optimal environment for a frog. Sorry, we slept in on accident. Did your frog eat a whole other frog? Chaucer is still growing. Yeah, sideways. He doesn't hold a candle to dear Pollywog. Prove it. I will. Let's have our frogs race. Whichever frog first reaches the flag I place yonder wins. Deal. On my mark, get set, go! Huh? Pollywog? What are you doing? <laughs> Disqualified! What's that for? Disqualified. Chaucer wins by default. Do I win? I think we all just lost. Three days down, 97 more to go. Golden apple! There's some seriously good stuff in these chests. We can make that. Talk to me when you find a god apple. Like this one? Oh. And look, there's a pretty block too. Oh, it's soft too. Well, we can leave that. What? No, I like it. We can't carry everything back. Well, then we can leave the god apple. We're not leaving the god apple. You guys found a god apple? Yes, but more importantly, this. Okay, uh, I don't understand. He wants to take it home. Can we, can we, can we? I don't feel like arguing, but you're carrying it. Yes. Great job, enabler. You're exaggerating. He'll just keep it in a chest and we'll never have to see it again. <sighs> ah! What the hell happened? Okay, well that's just too far. Is this because of the moss we planted? You planted it? It looks pretty. Well, do you still think it looks pretty? I'm getting signals from you guys that it would be wrong to answer yes. Oh my god, you're hopeless. Well, we need to get rid of this before it eats our house. I just have no clue where to start. There's no use. Anything we break will just grow back faster than we can destroy. We might as well pack up now. Wait, maybe if we destroy the original moss block, the rest will die. And how are we supposed to find some block of moss in all of this? We just find the center. There's a path right there. As much as I hate this thing, I'd hate losing our house more. <sighs> Following the creepy moss path to our deaths it is. This is a nightmare. I swear this thing is being difficult on purpose. <laughs> See? Have you tried being shorter? It's doing wonders for me. How do we know which one is the center? We just keep following this path. <laughs> well, that's it. We're screwed. No, wait, listen. It's coming from the left. How does the fact that a cow is also stuck in here help us in the slightest? Maybe it knows where the center is. That's insane. It's a cow. You're a chicken. Touche. Wait, we're actually going to follow the cow? Well, I've somehow been bested in a trial of wits by pork chop, so my guess is worthless. Yes! Cow time! <gasps> Whoa. Is this real? Are we hallucinating? It's so majestic. Hello, travelers. God? No. <laughs> I am a combination of your deepest desires and your greatest hopes. I come from the earth in your time of need. You may call me Alexander. Wait, your name is seriously Alexander? Well, if you're going to be rude about it, I can go. No! Oh, sorry, I uh, meant no offense, but you can help us get to the center of the maze? Yes. All you must do to receive my help is focus deeply on where you want to go. Close your eyes. Now... Open them. Here I leave you. Do what you must. Where will you and the other Mooblooms go? We will retire to a different plane. Can't you stay even when the moss dies? No, we are not meant for this world. Perhaps in another life. You mean we're never going to see you again? I'm afraid not. But you will always know me. And you will have me in the warmth of the sun on your skin. In the green of the earth. That have to be good enough. Go on. It is time for me to go. Well, who should do the honors? Pork chop. Did we just kill off an entire species to save our shit house?
just look at that view. It really is something. Uh, when you said we'd be enjoying the mountain <laughs> biome, I imagine more cabins and hot cocoa. Not full body exertion. Well, quit being so negative. This new Snowy Peaks biome is great. I'm very small, Stan. So am I, and I'm fine. Yeah, but you're also an optimist. They cancel one another out. Oh, wow. Never thought of that. Well, Chick, if you're having that much trouble, you can hop on my back. Wait, really? No. No, let's get it. Was that Beardy? I think mountain goats all just look the same. <gasps> Stan! I'm so happy to die the way I lived, in a dumb argument with you two. Oh, <laughs> ow. Am I dead? Am, am I dead? I asked first. God, answer me before pork chop. Unfortunately, we're all still alive. And more bad news, I have no idea where we are. I've seen ice before, but why is this so dark blue? It's blue ice, chick. Thanks, pork chop. Would you also like to describe the sun as bright or uh, maybe even water as wet? I'm being serious. That's the name. Blue ice. You can also call it packed ice. It's a bit unique. And judging by the amount, I'd say we found ourselves in an ice cavern. Well, if one thing's for sure, I'm taking this ice with me. Great idea. I always love a new natural resource to exploit. Hmm. I think you might need silk touch to mine these, Stan. Yeah, I think you might be right. Huh? What is that? Iceman! This is rad. We're taking it. I don't know. He doesn't look very friendly, and maybe he got stuck down here for a reason. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Porkchop, you're a regular know-it-all. Maybe you can look up who this guy is. Hey, wait! Can you stop ignoring me for like 30 seconds? Ugh. Hot cocoa. The fireplace. A window. Is that too much to ask for? On second thought, Stan, this feels a little morbid. Yeah, and isn't that ice eventually going to melt? What if that guy wakes up? Psh, there's no way it'll melt. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's friendly. Hey, bud, are you okay? I'm free! For that, I thank you. Oh, nice. You're welcome. Now, die! What's nice? <laughs> 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 What's the matter? We just met. Don't you want a good old-fashioned icebreaker? You're kidding me! <laughs> just freeze for a moment and we can make this whole process a whole lot less painful. <laughs> oh, giving me the cold shoulder already. Damn, I'm funny. Well, that guy's a jerk. I'm starting to lose track of the amount of times we've been chased out of our cabin. Yeah, maybe we should just move to a different biome. No, this sucks, and that guy sucks more. I've got a plan for how to take him out. And Chick, I hope you still have that hot cocoa. Of course. Can I help, Stan? Do we still have Bam Bam's sailor outfit? I think so. This is humiliating. Don't worry, this plan is foolproof. Now I need you to get his attention. Five Emeralds says he gets crushed in the next 30 seconds. Chick! What? Pretty sure he's died before. Freeze! What are you doing here? And why are you dressed like that? I... I don't know, but I'm here because I want to talk. Why are you doing all this? <laughs> For power, of course. I plan to freeze this whole biome. It's not remotely cool enough. Then soon after, I'll freeze the whole world. I think it is about time I had a winter, if you know what I mean. I will reign supreme. I was trapped in that ice for so long, unable to move. Ah! Ah! Hot cocoa! Ah! My one weakness! Ah! A sword! My other weakness! Looks like this wasn't a chill conversation after all. Nice. Great job with the hot cocoa, Chick. How on earth did you come up with that plan? To be honest, he seemed like the type of person who had way too much to say. Also, this sword does a lot of damage. Wait a minute. Then why'd you need me to dress up in a sailor outfit? Oh, I don't know. I just thought it was funny. Well, now what do we do? We can go climb that mountain again. Ah, my eyes! 
I love you guys and our adventures are great, but I feel like when we get back, we turn into zombies. <laughs> I'm not even this boring. <laughs> See? We seriously need to inject some more life into, well, our home life. No, I need more time! Maybe we get a pet? Another animal, I already have two. Sorry. I'm gonna veto any wolves after what happened last time. Yeah, maybe not our finest moment. What about a cat? Not like a big cat, a house cat. There are tons of domestic cats. I like it. I don't, but I don't have a better idea. Thanks for being a team player, Chick. I'm just trying to advance the plot. What? So is there any kind of trick to this? Nope, as long as there are enough beds, cats will spawn. Can I help you three? Yeah, we are trying to find a cat to tame. I don't know any strays, but maybe my kitty Winston can be of some help. <laughs> Say hello, Winston. These adventurers are looking for a cat of their own. Do you know? Wait, what did you just do? Looks like I tamed Winston. No, give him back. No can do, bud. Thanks for the help. <laughs> why, God, why? I might be coming around on this whole cat thing. Yeah, he's adorable. We should get him a friend. I don't want him to be alone all day. Good idea. There are 11 cat types, so I'm sure we can find at least one. 11, you say? Yep, 11. That's not too many. Be cool to have more than one. But just one more than one. You know, two. Two cats. Right, but kids who grow up without enough siblings turn out... Weird. Then good thing these aren't children and they're cats. Yeah, Stan. I don't know if we want 11 cats. Stan! What? This is awesome. Can we please step outside? This has gotten out of hand. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Hmm. One, two, three, four. Porkchop, he's not listening. Ten. There is only ten. You are being very rude, Stan. Porkchop, did you say there are ten unique cat types or eleven? Eleven. And from the looks of it, it looks like you caught them all. Congrats. No, but I haven't. See, I only count 10. What does your book say about cat types? That there are 11. Okay, duh, that much I got. Does it say anything else? Villagers, cats, 11, rare, black, witch? Well, Ugh, this is not good, Stan. The last cat, the one you don't have, is a black cat. And the only way to get one is a witch's hut. Hmm, a witch. That didn't sound too bad. No, Stan, that is very bad. Witches are insanely dangerous. Yeah, they have all kinds of deadly potions. Right. Imagine if Porkchop was actually good at fighting and brewing. Oh, wow, that does sound dangerous. Hey! How about a deal? If we can catch this super rare black cat, I'll get rid of all these other boring garbage cats. Won't the other cats be pissed if you just throw them out? What are you talking about? They have the mental capacity of a Tamagotchi. A Tama what? Nothing, they're dumb. I don't even think object permanence applies to them. Well, Stan, you devious bastard, you've got a deal. So what's the plan? I stab her with my diamond sword. Okay, well let's make that plan D. Maybe A through C should involve less you getting obliterated by her potions. Fine. How about Porkchop distracts the witch while Chick and I sneak in, steal the kitty, and bounce? Why do I need to be the distraction? You're fast, and I don't want to. Also, I didn't bring the right bait for Chick. Bait? Fetch, boy! That is horrifying. You're lucky I didn't have any seeds, otherwise it was definitely going to be you. Thanks. Oh, yeah, sorry about the door. No need to be sorry, hon. You're perfect as you are. I could really use someone just like you. Really? I'd love to help. Oh, that's wonderful. Protein is exactly what my stew was missing. Stew? <laughs> <laughs> Now's our chance. Get him, chick. What do we do about pork chop? Maybe we just book it to the cabin and let him figure it out. Stan! I'm kidding. Plan D it is. <laughs> <gasps> Who are you and what are you doing with Isabel? The name's Stan. Stan I am. The cat's with me now and I'm about to unleash some deus ex meowkina on you. What? Meowkina? <laughs> Nice job, pork chop. That was a horrible plan. It worked though, and now we only need to worry about one cat. Yeah, and a super rare one at that. Oh my gosh! What the fuck just happened? Explain something. Hey, 
Doctor, who are you? My name is Allie. I am in LA. I heard your music and thought I might join you in listening. Uh, sure. You're not gonna kill me or anything, right? Oh, no, silly. I like to help kind creatures such as yourself. You play such beautiful music. I'd be happy to offer my aid in return. Kind. Right. So, what do you do? Well, not much. But if you show me an item, I will happily gather it for you. What about these? You know how to find them? Oh, I cannot mind them. But if for whatever reason I see one lying around, I will happily bring it to you. I don't much feel like mining, but I have an idea where maybe we can find some. Come with me. Certainly. Sorry we had to walk so long, but I wanted to go to a village a bit further away from my cabin. Oh, so are there emeralds I should search for here? Like a scavenger hunt of sorts? Something like that. Scavenging is definitely a good word. Maybe close your eyes. Oh my gosh! Damn, so these clowns can trade emeralds, but don't drop them? What have you done? Literally or figuratively? Is there a difference? To be honest, I barely understand the turn of phrase. You're Hey, I'm just playing the game. <gasps> oh, hello there. Do you also live here? Depends. Who's asking? Uh, me? Okay, good enough. Yeah, I do live here. I would like to offer my aid for allowing me to listen to your music. Oh, what can you do? I can find items or pick up drops that you may not have inventory space for. How do you feel about spiders? I mean... I can't say I have a particularly strong opinion about them. Great! I'm gonna go hunt some tonight! I'll need you to grab any eyes that I might miss, or if I run out of space. If you're just killing giant spiders, that's not too bad. Definitely better than that last guy. Last guy? You talking about Stan? Yes. Yeah, he can be completely unhinged. I... noticed. I'm much more chill. Don't worry. Are you getting all of this, Ollie? Unfortunately, yes. Uh, here you go, pork chop. That truly was uh, impressive. Thanks. Finally going to be able to ferment these and improve my potions. What kind of potions? Perhaps an antidote to the poisons? Sorta. What do you mean, sorta? It's not so much an antidote as much it is a herdidote. That doesn't mean anything. These are potions of harming. Splash potions. You throw them and baddies die. What is wrong with you? You're the one who trusted a random pig. That's not a good point. Who are you? My name is Allie. I was looking to offer aid to the owners of these lovely music blocks, but the residents of this cabin seem deeply disturbed. Yeah, that checks out. Well, if you're interested, I could use a hand. Do you live here? Yep. Will this cause harm to any living creature? Nope. Ah, then I will help you. Great. You see this bone I've got here? I'm going to need more. Like, a lot more. You want me to collect bones? Yes. Well, I cannot fight. Also, I already said I refuse to participate in any more killing. What on earth did Stan and Porkchop put you up to? <gasps> I don't want to talk about it. Well, you don't need to kill anything. And the only things dying are already dead. What do you mean? I mean, skeletons drop these and plenty of them are dumb enough to stay out in the sun. You'll find them lying around in fields. Oh, okay. That sounds fine. What are you using them for? For a, uh, project. Hmm. Look, do you want to help or not? Uh, I do. Huh. 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 Wow, skeletons are incredibly stupid. I guess they don't have brains. Well, at least this feels much less nefarious. Hello, chick. I have collected the bones you asked for. Perfect. Hand them over. What is this for, exactly? You have got to be kidding me! Oh, chick, sick bone throne! A little gauche, but I like it! Thank you! What do you think, Ellie? I think you are all a bunch of monsters! There isn't a single thing chill about you! You hardly deserve to have these music blocks at all! I can't believe I wasted so much time with you! Maybe don't make assumptions about people's personalities based on the music they like. Damn. Good point. Thank you. Porkchop, chick, attend me. Here we go. 
What is it, Stan? A farm. What? A farm. No, we heard you. We're just going to need a little bit more than two words. Perhaps even a verb. We are going to build a farm. I don't like the use of the word we. Okay, Pork Chop and I are going to build a farm. I'm with Chick on this one. Your auto animal farm felt pretty unethical. <laughs> Automated farming is inherently unethical. Can I really be judged for participating in a socially acceptable form of exploitation? <laughs> This is fine. It wasn't that bad. And besides, this time, no animals will be involved. Have it your way, Stan. But I'm not participating. Same. We can't stop you, but we don't need to help you. Fine. I'll give it a week before it all comes toppling down. A week? He won't last three days. It's a bet. What are we even gambling? We already share pretty much everything. Bragging rights? The most valuable currency. Deal. Dumb chicken, dumb pig, they have no idea just how cool this farm is gonna be. Three days later. I'm off again, guys. Time to check on the old wheat farm. Have fun, Stan! Looks like I'm about to earn some serious bragging rights. Stan still has one day left to mess this up. Don't get too excited just yet. Holy sh! What happened? What happened? Chick? Did you have something to do with this? Of course not. It clearly looks like a creeper blew this up. What a bummer. Guess I win the bet. A creeper? Yes. In the middle of the night? Yes. Blew up this farm unprovoked? Yes. And made a perfect square shape? Yes. What an anomaly. Chick, you clearly did this. No, oh, it was a creeper. Why? Why? Have I lived a sinful life? Have I not done enough to earn the mercy of the universe? Look what you've done, Chick. All right, you're right, Porkchop. I destroyed Stan's farm for the sake of winning the bet. I was wrong and you were right. Do you feel better now? Yes. <laughs> so what do we do now? Am I a villain and forever cursed to be a villain? My attempts at good nature cast aside by whatever malevolent force taunts me. That really needs to stop. I have an idea. Hey, Stan, I'm terribly sorry about what I did. I mean what happened to your farm. Wait, what? I said it really is a tragedy. Something entirely beyond my control uh, destroyed your farm. But what's most important is I want to help you fix your farm. Wait, really? Yeah. And I do too. Wow, guys, that's really cool of you. Wow, guys, I'm really proud of us. Waiting for Alex to join the block squad? Wish you could be the first person to know when Tanner finally wins the battle royale? Make sure you're subscribed and have your bell notifications on so that you can be the first to comment before anybody else.